Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews, and I'm here with a brand new Action Figure Review. Today, I have got the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mighty Metalhead Ultimate. Yeah, the first guy can do it much better than me, but uh, yeah, the Ultimate Metalhead. And I got this in the Black Friday sale from Comics and Cocktails. I've been after it for a while, but kind of hesitant to pull the trigger until I got more of the NECA M. NECA TMNT and I do have plenty now so and I've got some coming for Christmas yay so yeah Metalhead let's take a look at the box so let's take a look at Metalhead as you can see he's got a great looking picture at the front TMNT the mighty Metalhead NECA Nickelodeon which is weird on the side got the same thing again on the back We've got, this is from the animation itself. Metalhead has the minds of all the four Ninja Turtles ingrained into his programming. This robotic reptile comes with a full arsenal of accessories, including six different hands, swappable drill, and vacuum arm attachments, and an opening chest panel with plug-in blaster. And you can see all of those in the pictures. How handy would that be to have a robot that would go around vacuuming for you? Here he is with two foot soldiers, which are sold separately, as it says. On the bottom, legally crap. On the top, we got the logo, the TMNT logo. And on the inside, we got the usual Velcro opening strap for Ultimates. So you've got a picture of Metalhead there. With a nice diorama in the background as well, which is actually in the box. So you can see Metalhead, he has all his um, attachments, three of them, and two sets of hands as well, as well as the ones that are on him. And he looks really nice and he looks very duck like for some reason but um yeah let's get metalhead out of the box so here is metalhead out of the box and as you can see he looks absolutely great he's quite bright looking and fits in with the animation style absolutely perfect now when i do NECA reviews i probably go to town and saying like be careful when you're opening your figures these break easy etc 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 and that is true for the most part, but I was pleasantly surprised when I opened Metalhead to find that he is quite free moving and I didn't really have to do much with him. Now, this is just my version, so your versions could be the same. But no, my, my Metalhead was quite free moving and didn't have to do much to get into move the bits and pieces that, like I usually do and like I usually warn about. But yeah, this Metalhead is good. So let's get down to accessories and stuff. And like most uh, NECA Ultimates, they come with a hell of a lot. So this guy comes with a lot of attachments. You got this drill attachment, which goes on where his hands go. You got this Hoover attachment when, was it Splinter reprogrammed him to make him like a domestic robot or something? I can't remember. And then you got this bit that goes into his chest, which I will do now because I haven't done before like a gun thing you can see there that's pretty cool so you open up both sides of his chest and if you see it it's like a tiny tiny little hole right there is it this way oh i suck at doing this stuff so so yeah i had to really force that in but that looks pretty okay-ish i suppose and you can almost close both sides so you can have a red leg up. But yeah, that's not something I'm going to leave in him because it doesn't look great, does it? It's not exactly. Um... It's not a very photogenic weapon like to have in. So you can just pop that back out, close his chest again. Now, whilst I'm here, let's actually use the other the other bits and pieces so I can show you. It pops out really easily as well. So this is a good QC to figure so far. Um, these. No, I'm not going to push them in fully, but this is how they look. Maybe I should push it in, push it in fully. Hold on. So, yeah. You can have them drilling into your walls or 
And now, so yeah, you'd really screw that in. You can really screw it out. Pop. Nice and satisfying. And let's put in these. Uh, so the, yeah, the, this actually went in really well too. So now you can have him hoover up your house. Like most robots do nowadays actually. And if they ever find out, they will kill us all. So yeah, he looks quite good. He also comes with... Um, Two more sets of hands. And this one, these two with a uh, like open fist and closed fists, and he's got like these open palms on on him when he comes in when he comes in the box. So let's move around the accessories there for the moment. And get that off. A satisfying pop, and we get one of these other hands on. Just for this part, if I can find the right one, for the right hole. So yeah, I think that's the right one. It might not be, but look, now it looks like he's saying wank or something. <laughs> Excuse my language. So yeah, for articulation, you would have seen a lot of it when I was messing about there. Head goes up a little bit and down a bit. Little side to side movement. Head does go all the way left, all the way right. There is no ab crunch, obviously, because he's a massive, massive figure here. The arms don't go out that much. Elbows don't go out that much either. It's single jointed elbows. You do have a bicep swivel that doesn't go the whole way around, so be careful. You could even get him in a good, few good poses, like. But anyway, legs go out this far. You do get a twist at the hips as well. You get a single jointed knee at the. Single jointed knee joint at the knee and legs. You get a little bit of movement there as well, up and down and side to side. So, articulation wise, he isn't great, but I appreciate why he's it's because he's a robot and he's not supposed to move around that much anyway. So, yeah, like I was on the fence about buying him, as I said earlier in the review, and I got him in a sale for 20 pounds. So I'm very happy with that and glad to add into my collection. So yeah, guys, if you're on the fence about buying this guy, quickly goes down. Or if you are a fan, get him because he's a great representation of the character. And I know there's another version coming in the Super 7 line, but I'm not collecting the Super 7 line. So this would be my guy. As for height-wise, he is just above 6 inches. Just barely. So he's quite he's small enough for the line, but he's definitely a worthwhile pickup, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to subscribe and like. There is more Turtles reviews on the channel. They're in, they're in a playlist, in this playlist. And you can find them there. So we'll see you later, guys. Have a good day and a good new year. See you later, guys. Bye.